Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, people are going to think I'm hating on these trainers, but I'm not hating on them. Okay, in fact, I think these ones are okay, but Nike, or sorry, Jordan could have gone with a different silhouette and these would have been sold out. Let's go. <laughs> So, welcome back everyone. To everyone who's new, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you like the content of the video, in the middle of it or whenever, hit the like button. For those who have been to my channel and are still supporting, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we get this underway. So, today, without further ado, let's just get straight into this. We are talking about the Jordan 6. PSG. First we've got to do, we have to look at the box because obviously this is a collab. So it's going to be a bit different from normal Jordan boxes. We still got the lid box, but this time we got PSG logo, the Jordan's jump man in the middle and a blue lid on the side. Details there. As you can see, this is my size. It says Air Jordan 7 Retro. BCFC, whatever that means. There's nothing, there's, sorry, there's a little jump man there on that box, and then there's the little normal disclaimers at the bottom there. Inside the box, you've got traditional, I say traditional, but you've got the grass effect on the box. I don't know if you can see that, and which is traditional with the PSGs. I've done it with the Jordan 4s. These are Jordan 7s. I think I said Jordan 6s before, didn't I? But these are Jordan 7s. And this is why I say Nike or Jordan should have done another silhouette because the sevens are not everyone's greatest. I'm, I'm, you remember my other video, I put the link up there or up there where I basically said, this is a cheap imitation. A bubblegum remix or the Jordan sixes, right? But Nike decided to team up with PSG and release these trainers in the Jordan sevens and they could have used any other Jordans, I'm telling you now. But anyway, you've got a plastic type paper with PSG signed there and the Jumpman on it. It seems to be that you've got one for each shoe. It seems like you've got a paper in there for each shoe, but just gonna concentrate on the one shoe. So it's a Jordan 7 silhouette. But what they've done is they've instead of putting a color block in there and here, they put a see-through mesh here and kept it completely white there. The overlay is completely white. Why am I doing, let's do what we normally do. Let's start at the bottom, sorry, I apologize. Typical Jordan 7 sole. You've got the perforated holes, with the abstract colored triangles. This time it's in the French flag or the PSG flag. PSG colors, white, red, and blue. In the middle, it go down, you've got the big jump man, which is towards the heel of the shoe with a bit of red, just where the ball is and a bit of blue just underneath his legs, as you can see there. If we go to the midsole, the midsole is completely black with the overlays of the sole coming up on towards midsole. Here, you've got a bit of white and on top of that, blue. The same as at the heel, no air bubble in the Jordan 7s, as we've already discussed. And then it's just a black rubber midsole there, which is matte because it's the same as the sole. Then there's shiny midsole here. Again, you've got a bit of white and then blue on top here towards the heel. 
If we go around again, you've got the shiny black midsole at the back with the red sole bit there. The hill now has a PSG sign with the Eiffel Tower, as you can see, and it's got the three couple of days of, but it's definitely, I think that's to do with France or it's PSG, but I think it's to do with France. I don't know what they're called. That carries on up to the pool where it's got a, a white pool with a red streak through it at the back. We go onto the side of the shoe. Again, overlay is white leather, tumbled leather, which is really nice quality, I'm not gonna lie to you. And that kind of hook, as you can see, is again all leather all around. Again, instead of the color blocking, they've made it a see-through mesh, but they're giving you a gold jump man, as you can see there, which is, I honestly think it's quite a nice touch, if I'm honest with you. And underneath that, it's like a fused kind of blue underneath there, and it's see-through, which brings you to the sock inside. So the sock inside goes all the way up to where the pull tag is, as you can see at the back there. You have a, it's blue on the outside, like the PSG, but on the inside, it's red, as you can see there. The insole is zigzagged in red, white, and blue with some dark black there, or dark navy, and it has Is Cesse Paris, which I can't remember what that means, but I'll let you know when I find out. It says Paris written on there, no jump man, no swoosh or anything like that. On the top of the tongue, you've got Jordan Air, Jordan in red and then Air in a dark black or navy blue. On top of that, it's quite hard to see the Air on there actually. Maybe they could have done it in another color like the white. White would have been great if they'd done it like that and you'd seen all of it. The laces are white, the sock is a spongy color, which is a, again, it travels down to toe box, which has some perforations in it for breathability. The laces are just normal white Jordan laces. There's nothing on the tabs, which says PSG or anything like that. And if you look on the inside, where the see-through mesh is, it, you see it says ISI S P Paris again. That is on the outside as well. If you see through mesh there, and then you've got the Panam label there on the outside as well. That's it. These are true to size. They feel okay. Jordan 7s are not my favorite Jordans, like I've told everyone before. I'm not cussing them. To be honest with you, <laughs> these are probably the nicest pair I've seen. And I say this because they haven't got the color blocking everywhere. It's just, it's a white kit with a splash of color here and there, which makes it a nice kick to wear in the summer. I'm actually gonna hold on to these ones. I'm not gonna get rid of them. They're easy to pick up. They didn't fly off the shelves. They wouldn't because they're Jordan 7s. If you're a Jordan 7 lover, you'll get them. You will buy them. You know, I haven't even got the Jordans I reviewed the other. I've, they're gone because they're just not for me. So I honestly just think though, if J Jordan had released another collab with, P with P PSG in, I know, Jordan 13s, these would have been gone. They would have been gone. Do you remember the Jordan 4s? Oh my gosh. Even now, the resale value on those just keeps on going up. Because one thing I will say though, when they collab, the material is on point. This, I haven't seen this leather in a shoe for a long time and it's cool. They've, they've really done a nice job on this. I'm honest with you. And yeah, and the touch of the gold at the side there, just yeah, it's, it's, it's not my 
favorite silhouette, but this is a nice collab. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not cussing out Nike, I'm not cussing out Jordan, this is a nice collab, and they've done a nice job on this one. It's not gonna fly off the shelves. There's still some that you pick up in some sizes. It took a bit of time. I think I've even seen some where they're on shelves in America still, but it may be that people just don't like PSG or they just don't know who PSG are. I don't know, but you know, that's it, man. All I can say is, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that's me, man, Patrick T. I'm out. Peace. Peace.